Okay, attention, non-left-leaning Californians. Election day is coming. And that means tomorrow is election day. I am encouraging every non-leading California Californians, that means the Republicans, conservatives, libertarians, classical liberals, paleocons, and etc. to go out and vote in high turnouts. I want a high turnout of Californians that don't lean left because Right now, every leaning, I mean, every left leaning Californian is gung ho about the election. And if they get it their way, California will be worse off than it was before. Right now, I'm going to be talking, right now, there's two major ballot propositions that are are out there. One is Proposition 6. The proposition that will end gas tax. If we can get a high turnout, we could end the gas tax in California. We have the highest fuel tax within the country. Well, we're the most taxed country, the most taxed state within the union. We look at other states. Their taxes are much cheaper compared to the state of California. It's ridiculous. And I think we need to get out there, get motivated, and vote yes on Proposition 7. And there's another proposition that could be, that could make the housing situation worse. This proposition is re referred to, <clears throat> this proposition is referred to Prop 10. It is a rent control initiative. What Prop 10 does is that it initiates rent control so that there's a price cap, I mean a rental cap on renting property. Now this sounds good on paper, but I'm voting against it because all it is is a band-aid on a wound. It's just going to make situation, the housing crisis a lot worse than it needs to be. And believe me, I used to be in support of rent control, but I realized that rent control is not going to do anything right. And if you look at properties that are under rent control, many of them are dilapidated and worthless. In fact, what I heard is that most landlords would build high-end condos as a way to deal with rent control. Less housing for people than it really needs to be. Plus, with rent control, you can get... It's one thing... <clears throat> there's one thing that is guaranteed if you vote yes on Proposition 10. is that you can expect a tenant lottery. You know, you want to rent a rent rental unit, like a studio apartment, it's going to be a, in form of a lottery system. What I'm trying to say is that if you want to rent a property, there will be a lottery system that you will have to participate in. It happens in San Francisco a lot of times such as the rental lottery, as I said before. I don't know how to explain it, but if 
we want to rent an apartment unit in the future with if you want to rent an apartment unit with rent control, you can have you have to participate in a lottery. Now, if all of you, I mean, uh, what I'm saying is that, look, if we can get it, I want people to vote against Proposition 10 because it's just a band-aid on a gaping wound. That's all I'm saying. So, if we can get a high turnout for people that are not in the left, I think we could have a chance of passing Prop 6 and, and defeating Prop 10. Not only that, we could have a chance of John Cox winning the governor's seat. I mean, the gubernatorial election. That's one thing, it's because Gavin Newsom is just Harry Brown 2.0, like I said before. He's just gonna s support Harry Brown's construction on a bullet train that goes nowhere, and I guess, as well as all the other bullshit laws Jerry Brown has passed in the recent years. And plus, he wants more gun control law, as well as all the other, as well as me. What I'm saying is that Gavin Newsom just wants more gun control laws and more bureaucracy. That's the last thing the state need. The state of California is in a debt crisis. Right now, the state debt is about 426 plus million dollars. Or is it billion dollars? That's a lot of money. If you think about it. And we're spending too much. In fact, the entire country is $21 trillion in debt. I should check the debt clock next time, but we can't spend a lot of money in the state when we have a large deficit and a debt crisis going on. So I'm encouraging all of you non-leftist Californians to get out and vote. And to admit it, I don't think this video now, I don't feel like I'm the most coherent person, but I'm trying to get a message out to all of you non-leftist Californians, Californians to get out there and vote. Because it's very important that you participate in the election. <clears throat> and even if Cox doesn't win, if he gets a high turnout where I guess he gets close to winning, that could mean something. Unless if Cox wins, then yippee ki -yay. But even if John Cox wins the gubernatorial seat. It doesn't mean things get instantly better because there's a lot of lot, there's a lot of work to do to make California great again. Now, as for the House elections, I don't know what the end, the outcome's gonna be. If the Democrats end up retaking the House. Probably because of the MAGA bomber and the guy who shot up, shot up the synagogue. Like, if the MAGA bomber wanted to bomb someone like 
Panero or Maxine Waters. He could have waited. He could have waited till late November after the elections, which is obviously a ploy to get people to vote Democrat, so the Democrats can retake the House and the Senate. Now, as for the Senate. It's most likely the Republicans are going to retain the Senate, if not gain more seats. That's all I think of is about the election. So I'm Wicked Wonka. I want you to, if you want to follow me, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel on, I mean, you can subscribe to my channels on YouTube and BitChute. Follow me on Twitter, Gavin Mines. So I'm Wicked Wonka. I'm signing out. And remember to get out there and vote. I don't care if you have chores to do or you're sick or anything like that. Just get out there and vote. That's all I want is a high turnout for non-leftists in California to vote against the bullshit system we have. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if your ailment is so crippling that you have to be on a, on a wheelchair. Get someone to wheelchair you into the polling station. If you have hay fever, you can just deal with it. Get out there and vote. If you have tourists they can wait because your vote is more important than what these chores are. And if we get a good enough election, we can, if we get a good enough turnout, we might be able to defeat Prop 10 and pass Prop 6. And we might be able to win the governor's seat. If we could. So. Man. <laughs> hopefully there won't be any. Antifa people to. Intimidate people into voting Democrat. Just a little. So that's all I gotta say. I'm Wicked Wonka. I'm signing out.